Hi there, welcome back to Think Tank Online Learning. In this video, I want to prove whether the function is solomorphic or not. Okay, so given that z, a complex number x plus i y, okay, determine whether or not the function f of z is equal to coach h z is solomorphic. Okay, so here I have the nodes which we are going to use, okay, and it should be able to convert this should be able to use these identities okay so we're going to use couch Raymond equations okay so u partial of x should be equal to v partial of y then u partial of y should be equal to negative vx okay so our function is f of z is equals to cos hc okay and these are hyperbolic functions okay then we know that c is equal to x plus i y okay so all we want to do is to prove these equations and if these equations are equal then we can say that this function is holomorphic okay so here f of x y is equal to cos h and i'm going to replace c with x plus i y okay and now i'm going to choose the perfect identity and now i know that cos h of z as you can see cos h of z is equals to cos i z so i'm going to say cos i then what is z z is x plus i y okay so this is equals to cos i x okay i times i is negative one minus y okay then now i want to expand this cos a minus b okay so i'm going to expand now i'm going to say cos i x cos y okay since i have a minus here it's going to be plus sine a and sine a is i x sine b what is sine b it's y okay and we're almost there okay and now i am going to this is i x okay and now i want to group my terms imaginary and real okay so now i'm going to find the perfect identity for cos i x okay so i x is same as i z okay just i and a number so i want to convert i x so if you come here and you say cos i x so this is same as cos i z is equals to cos h z so i can simply say cos h z cos y plus sine i x if you come here sine z is same as sine i sine h x okay h x sine y okay so as you can see this is a complex number okay in form x plus i y as you can see this is my imaginary part and this is my real part okay and now i'm going to use the couch remain method okay so u is equals to cos h z cos y okay that is u then i'm going to v v equals to sine h x sine y okay and now i am going to find u x okay so i'm going to find the partial derivative so i'm going to differentiate u with respect to x okay so instead of writing z i should have written x okay so x here okay so if we differentiate cos hc is same as sine h x cos y okay 
then i'm going to differentiate i'm going to differentiate you with respect to y okay so the derivative of cos y is negative sine y cos hx okay so this was for this was for you and now i'm going to v okay i'm going to start with the vx okay so vx i'm going to differentiate sine hx the same as cos hx sine y okay remember treating y as a constant okay now v y okay the partial derivative of v with respect to y okay now sine y is sine hx cos y and do not want to prove okay so first i'm going to start with the ux equals to vy and what is ux my x is sine hx cos y is equal to okay then ux it's sine hx cos y and vy is sine hx cos y as you can see we're good here okay what about the second equation uy equals to negative vx so what is uy uy is negative sine y cos hx is equals to negative what is vx here cos hx sine y and as you can see this is same as this so that means cos hz is holomorphic okay so if these equations were not equal that means it was not going to be holomorphic okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe